government of the Philippines is involved in multiple non-international armed conflicts in Mindanao, against the Moro National Liberation Front and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters, the Mott Group and the Abu Sayyaf Group. Furthermore, the Philippine Armed Forces are engaged in a non-international armed conflict against the New People's Army. On May, 2017, the Armed Forces of the Philippines launched an operation against the appointed leader of the terrorist group, ISIS Philippines. This operation was conducted by the AFP Joint Special Operation Group, the unit in charge of counter-terrorism operations of the AFP, inadvertently starting the five-month-long urban battle against ISIS Philippines in Mara City. During this conflict, the Philippine Air Force were very effective in employing close air support to enable house-to-house -house clearances. These strikes were highly effective on the first pass of the aircraft, when surprise could be maintained. However, the enemy became aware of the close air support schedule, undermining its effectiveness. Once they identified a close air support platform in the air there was a marked decrease in enemy movement in the open, as they waited for the asset to retire and refuel. This limited the effectiveness of the aircraft in both a close air support and ISR role, and due to the limited number of aircraft and crews available to the Philippines Air Force, meant that once the air window was closed the insurgents could be confident in acting or attacking without concerning themselves with their attack for some time. Philippine Air Force still utilizes these light attack reconnaissance helicopters in active service, augmenting other rotary combat platforms in the 15th strike wing such as the AW-109 Power and the A-1S Cobra helicopters donated from Jordan. That's why, the Department of National Defense DND, is moving forward with the acquisition of Turkish T-129ATAK for the attack helicopter acquisition project for Philippine Air Force. Technical Working Group selected Turkish Aerospace Industries T-129 ATAK helicopter. Leonardo Aerospace will provide the controversial engine which their A-129 Mangusta attack helicopter is the basis of Turkish T-129 ATAK attack helicopter. Worth 14 billion pesos, the allocated budget for six units attack helicopter acquisition project by a government-to-government -government deal with Turkish Ministry of Defense. The contract signed in third quarter of 2020. Delivery is expected starting late 2021 to complete by 2022. The T-129 ATAK multi-role combat helicopter has been optimized for specific hot and high performance requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces. A tandem seat, twin engine, NATO interoperable attack helicopter optimized for attack, armed reconnaissance, precision strike, and deep strike missions, at day and night all environments and regardless of weather conditions. The T-129 ATAK incorporates asymmetric weapon loading capability and enables the use of all weapons effectively according to mission requirements. For close combat support missions, a 20mm turreted gun with a capacity of 500 rounds and 70mm classic rockets with a capacity of 76 rockets have been integrated, whereas for multipurpose missions, 16 Surat 70mm laser-guided air-to-ground missiles, 8 UMTAS long-range anti-tank missiles and 8 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles are integrated, as well as the state-of-the-art, EW systems and EO systems.